I hope you're all well. So today we've got another community project. This is another lantern, but this time it's got a lid on it. So very similar to the last one, you can add your own designs to it. But if you want to resize it, you just need to highlight all, align and center, and then you can resize them all together. So you can see we've got our two lantern sides here and then we've got our insert pieces. You can use vellum or cellophane or whatever you want to use really. Transparent materials are the best to work with with lanterns though. We've then got our lid piece here. You can see we've got some cutout panels and you can decorate them or leave them if you want. And again we've then got our transparent cutouts. I'm going to use some uploaded designs today so I'm just going to go and have a look and see which ones I want to use. So I've got a silhouette image here which I just got from Etsy so I've put that in and then I've got this one which I used in my glow in the dark hot mess. So it comes in like this from Etsy so we're just going to ungroup it and then ungroup again, it needs ungrouping a few times. And then if you just pull it away, you're then able to get the bulk of the design. And you can, of course, keep the bits that you want and then delete the bits that you don't want. I also want to change it slightly. So I'm just going to grab a shape and a circle. I'm just going to create an oval. I could, of course, go in and contour it, but this is a nice, quick, easy way. Sometimes contouring is quicker. Sometimes just welding a shape over is quicker. And then I want to do the same with that top bit as well. So I'm just going to weld. I'm not sure if I'm going to use the bat yet. So I'm just going to bring it over and just work out how I want it to sit. So I want it to be like that. And of course we're going to lose the skull and that. But I'm absolutely fine with that. That doesn't bother me at all. And then I just want to work out where I want the bat to be. Once I'm happy with it, I'm going to click on the whole thing and I'm going to detach the score lines and then I'm just going to hide those. I can then come in and make sure that I'm happy with it. I just want to move that slightly. Once I am happy with it, I'm going to highlight and I'm going to weld it all together. So if we zoom in, we can see the chains here. Now, I don't really want those individual cuts. If you're working with cards, you do have to kind of think about the cuts that you're going to have and the size of everything. So I obviously want it to keep the shape, but as I say, I want to eliminate those cuts. And again, contouring them out because they are so small, I'm just going to weld a long oval through them. I'm then going to highlight and again just weld. I'm then going to bring back my score lines and I can then highlight and attach them. So that's all ready to then cut out. I've then come into Design Space Images and I've searched for candle. So we've got this one here and then I'm just going to search for cat. So with my candle, I'm just going to bring it over and work out again where I want it to sit. And because it's not attached here, we do want it to overlap so that obviously when we cut it out, it's not just going to fall away. And with my cat, I'm just going to ungroup it. I'm going to use the black bit, not the grey bit. And again, I can then just bring it over and work out how I want it to sit. Once again, when I'm happy with it, I can detach my score lines and I can then hide those. I'm then going to highlight and weld. I want to change the colour back to the mango and then I can bring my score lines back, making sure that I do arrange to move backwards so we can then see them. And then of course I can attach my score lines back to my cutout. So I've just got some design space images here, just a pumpkin, a hat and a spider's web. And I've got this cat as well, but I just want to contour the eyes so they just become solid. And I think we'll take the nose out as well. There we go. We are then going to flip vertically. And then we can come in 
and place it where we want. We can then bring everything back and we can go to make it. So you can see we've got our three score and cut mats and then we've got our transparent cuts as well. We're going to be using vellum today. So I can then go to continue. I am of course using my maker today but if you are using a air you just want to set your dial to custom and you can then choose your cut settings if they are not on the dial. So for my card I'm using the Cricut craft board today so we just go to art board and then craft board. It's telling us to score, we need our double scoring wheel. Of course we don't have that in the UK yet so we're going to edit tools and just choose the scoring stylus. And then for my cutouts I'm going to go to browse all materials, I'm going to go to paper and I'm going to choose vellum. So everything is now cut out, we've got our vellum squares and our vellum triangles and then we've got our lid and our two sides. So we're just going to come in and we're going to fold on all our score lines. So they're all folded up, so before we actually make our boxes we need to add our translucent vellum windows and you're literally just going to come in and you're going to stick them on the inside. I use art glitter glue but you can use any glue. Once our vellum is dried we can then start constructing our lantern. So we're going to construct this one first with the base. So we want to glue our first bottom tab so we're just going to add a little bit of glue onto that. You can glue on the inside or the outside so you can have your tab either on the outside or the inside. I'm going for the inside today. We've then got our next piece, this one's got a side piece so we're going to glue that first. And I find just laying it inside works really well. We can then add some glue to the bottom tab. We can then glue that in place as well. Then we've got our final bottom tab so again we're just going to add some glue to that. And we're just going to nicely slot that in. And then you can add some glue to your final side tab as well. So we've then got ourselves our lantern. So then we've got our top and this is really easy to place together. You're just going to add glue along each of your tabs and you're going to close them in on each other. And that will then create a triangle top. So, as can sometimes happen, I make something and then I decide that I'm going to amend it slightly. So, just to let you all know that when you actually come to the file, there will be a pre-cut hole in the bottom of the lid. This is to allow the light in. You can see that I've just roughly manually done that. And also, I think I'm just going to add some lips on the top of the box so that the top sits a lot more securely. Mm -hmm. 